rebound today against the Loudon side, winless in its last four. A little coffee, a little orange juice, some eggs, and some USL Championship soccer, part of a great balanced breakfast. Good morning to you all. It's Devin Kerr and Joe Malpa here from Segra Field. Luis Fernando. Cutting in from the right wing, slots it through, and it's just wide. Jeremy Kelly didn't miss by much. Don't want to match up against, and for me, it's Luis Fernando. Good job stepping into the top of the box, but it's the recognition by Luis Fernando. The second that he gets Aiden Roach at the left back spot to square his hips up, he has the decision. Do I want to take advantage and use my speed to get to the byline and then try and cut it back across, or with that little peek over the shoulder, he recognizes all the space at the top of the 18. The little cut back in, and a beautiful ball played in. They were Ryan Martin wanted his side to do the first cool thing of the match, as he put it, to get the kids on their side. And there's a whistle to end half number one. Not one to really remember for either side. A lot to work out in the locker room. Hey, end line looking for a quick start to the second half. It's cleared away from distance on a blocked. Shouted for a handball briefly. Bowling for Williamson on the turn. Williamson comes back for Abdul Kawanda. This is much better to begin this second half. From Port. So it's Tommy Williamson, it's Zane, it's Kawanda, it's Jeremy Gray. That is a much better look overall for this Loudon team on the influx of players moving into the final third. Short from the corner. Now for Zane, lets it fly and puts it wide. Well, he's not willing to take the bait. Well done defensively to hold this and push it back. But with the support that you have, all you've really got is the two men who have to rotate out. So Jeremy Kelly's stuck between three separate players. Zane being on the tail end of this. And this will be the spark Memphis needs. Malloy drives it to the back side. What a hit that was, but wide. And it did take a deflection. Almost answered the call for the highlight reel. Sports Center comes calling real quick if you're Aaron Malloy and Jeremy Kelly on that one. Let me try it again from the corner. Oh, this time Malloy nodded down and saved by Faroe. Lumstig got his head to it. Oh, I had this conversation with another USL championship analyst, Ricky Lopez Essen. Recently, we were admiring the wardrobe choices on our end and the fact that we had some very uniquely colored gazelles made by Adidas. And he said, man, do you, do you remember the good old days? I said, yeah, where I wore, I wore gazelle shoes, umbro shorts, Nike shirts to school every single day. No judgment passed. None required. And you just, probably never thought twice about just it. Just snacks given. No, it was <laughs> delightful. Big ice pop guy. Fernando cutting inside onto his left foot. Fernando, it's blocked. Rebound skied by Malloy. They'll retrieve that from the next county over. It was its 2020 pandemic shortened season when he was with Timbers 2. And a lean season for them. Malloy, good delivery here. The header glances just wide. Five assists, four coming from similar fashion where just so good about allowing others around them to go up and make a play. Kind of pushing themselves out all of a sudden. Cole Turner, Jamie Gray are in a situation where they can operate more in a side-by-side -side fashion. Turner will still come underneath to give depth, but that allows you the pivot point to play off of. Ryan now becomes a false nine. And Leggett's going to stretch it with his fresh legs and his speed. But Ryan, he does so well to really create that one-two punch when he has someone to work with. Over these last four games, three losses, one drop, they felt they should have had three wins in that span. But some naivete in their own box defensively cost them. Cole Turner! Not much is going your way. See if you can pull up the spectacular. They didn't miss it by much. Pickering comes off for Laurent Cassiedu. Rodrigo da Costa comes off for Dylan Borzak. Fresh legs up top in the nine. 
Malloy curls it top of the six. The header's just wide. Carson. Three points possibly hanging in the balance if either side is able to snatch it. Loudon sitting four points beneath the playoff line in the east. Memphis just one point behind Louisville for the last of the four home playoff games. Top four teams will host in the first round. It's a coveted spot to be in. You know, Memphis has loftier aspirations than even that. The success they've had this season, having hit a dip in the form lately. It falls for Kisiedu! And it's shanked wide. How high it was defensively for Loudoun United. There's Aaron Malloy the entire time. The second he takes that first touch, even before, he's got his head up. And there's the final whistle. Loudoun zero, Memphis zero. The kids won. They had a good time despite the inactivity here at Segra Field on camp day.